Welcome back to Bodega Talk. This your boy Black Zini. On this episode, we've got No Cap, one of hip hop's hottest up and coming artists in the game who hails from Mobile, Alabama. In a matter of a few years, the young rapper would break ceilings with his talents, releasing songs like Legend, Ghetto Angels, and Vaccine, which would grasp the attention and hearts of millions. He would soon go on to collaborate with other big names in the hip hop like NBA Youngboy, Lil Uzi Vert, and The Baby. As one of the most promising acts out of the South, No Cap aims to continue telling his story and become hip hop's newest household name. Welcome to Ridgewood, man. Oh, damn, I'm here. I'm here. Thank you for being here with us. Oh, damn. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for being she is still no cap. <laughs> still no cap. Hell yeah. So, tell me where you got your name from, man. What um, made you to be no cap? I ain't gonna lie, like, nigga really ran through a couple names, like, just coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga came out across by three names. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it just trying to really just match what fits you type shit. But, like, first I really came out as Young Glow. Because when I was young, I was young. Goddamn. Now my family members used to call me, rest in peace, Ive is my auntie, but she used to call me Glow because I had a circle head as a little boy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, really came, I really came out with that, but I ended up switching it up, you know what I'm saying, as I got older and shit. So like no couch that really caught for me on some other shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, so you from Mobile, Alabama? Mobile, for sure. Mobile. Alabama, yeah. That's how you pronounce it. All right, yeah. Mobile, Alabama. What's it like growing up out there, man? I know a lot of people from Alabama, bro. 85% of them is athletes. That, that, that jungle. I know I know a lot of people like Mobile, like more like the city. You get what I'm saying? Like Alabama, I know when people think of Alabama, they think of like palms and you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But now nah, like Mobile really the city and they go down, it, it's small, but it go down now like anywhere else. You get what I'm saying? Like it's the same old shit going on. Niggas dying, niggas going to jail, you know what I'm saying? Like, same old shit. Most dope. But you know, it ain't shit really there, like, for nobody to do. So niggas always, like, re really, niggas just really gotta branch out, yeah, fat. But that would really make a nigga go harder, too, though. You know what I'm saying? What is it, like, that brought you to be an artist? I mean, like, when I was younger, my mama had a, a nigga she was fucking with. I still holler at him to this day, though. Named Jay, but my mom was talking to a nigga and he really had just started writing shit for me and my brother now. You get what I'm saying? But I was like, shit, probably like nine, ten years old type shit. But a nigga grew up out of that shit. Like we did that shit for like a summer, but it was a start though. You get what I'm saying? So, but a nigga like stopped rapping for years and years and years. I ain't stopped at rapping till I was like 17, 18 really. But it really like my brother was in and out the studio. So shit, I, I seen him doing it. I really got back into it. So when he seen me doing it, he kind of took a step back and really just put his eye on me type shit. You get what I'm saying? So he just got them and focusing on me really, but he doing his own thing too though. But he really got me back at this shit though. Yeah, for sure. So your most recent project, Back In Child? Uh, no, the most recent was oh, maybe not most Still recent. Human, I think, or the Hood Dictionary. So back in child is the one I'm. What my last take was? More so. Still, still human, huh? Uh, hey. uh, yeah, it was still human. Had to be. Yeah. That's the last one. The most recent one. Yeah. All right, let's talk about that one then. I mean, it was straight. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I was really in and out of jail at the time, so it was really something like a nigga just came home, did real quick, dropped that shit, and went back in type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but like really like on Mr. Crawford album, like I really had time to like do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Without without the jail time, and I can really be out here, you know what I'm saying, rolling this bitch out the right way, you feel me? So that's why it's been taking me so long to drop, because I'm really just I ain't never had this point in my career where I can just, you know what I'm saying, do this shit the right way. So a nigga finally just doing this shit the right way, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's have in the bodega, man. Let's go get some shit to eat, bro. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
Oh, yeah, shit. we know about that top <laughs> 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 Yes, sir. Here we are. Which boy Jelly, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so as per the show, we give the artist a little bit of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Our show broke broken fuck right now. Have right. some fun. Y'all see Come some on. of my cash up, I ain't got it right now, man. It's too good for the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for sure, what we right, on? So what you cool? What you getting, bro? Like, what's the really I gotta like? see what's up though. I don't hey. even eat for real, dog. Come on, that's <laughs> hot, bro. This is like every time we get rich, bro. Every time we get rich, they lose their appetite. Like, where the fuck is that happening? Bro? I got rich and still don't eat. Shit. I just think about shit that I never ever thought about. Like, yeah. You know what? I need this, bro. Like, this is real life. What the fuck, all these sandwiches? Bro, all these sandwiches. What are you thinking? What kind of sandwiches? Probably the the sweet honey. I think a hot sandwich? Hell nah. You want a cold sandwich? Alright, man. Hey, bro, you can tell them what you want, nah, bro. Nah, fuck that. I, I do right want here. a hot sandwich. Come on, now. I don't want nothing cold. It's, it's too cold to be eating cold. cold. It's too cold. <laughs> you got hot chocolate in your hand. You talking about a cold sandwich? Man, I want no sandwich. I want the chicken patty, man. Turkey, That's the spicy chicken cup there. Yeah, right that's there. what I want right there. Hey, let me get the spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Roller here or him? Uh, nah, give me a little. Uh, yeah. Uh, no cheese. No cheese. No cheese. No cheese. Yeah, I put lettuce and tomatoes on now. No, no lettuce and tomatoes. Alright, And a little mayo. Uh-uh, no onions. Lettuce, tomato, little mayo. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. I ain't no extra nigga, I go real light. Chill. And I, I go and I no go for what I know. No stuff ever been to go like that. I go for what I know. I don't never try new shit. There's one thing about me, I don't try nothing new. Nah. Unless it got something to do with some music. Anything like food, I ain't trying nothing new. What if it's music and food? Music. At the same time. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta pick up the chicken with the new beat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it only work like that. Come on now. Yo, shit. Yo, your sandwich is ready. You want to get some snacks or something? I'm straight, straight, nigga. I'm straight, I'm straight. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. This is the one time, nigga, that you $20 in the squat, bro. Now, let me grab something. I'm going to get you some. I'm a, get you a bag or something, bro. I'm going to get you a bag or something, bro. I'm going to put y'all on something. You're not going to get no bag for this sandwich? Yeah, 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 I am. 100% you need a bag. Let's put y'all on something real quick. On some snacks real quick. These. What up, bitch? Yeah, I'm going to get some snacks. I'm going to get some snacks. I'm going to what up, bit? What that is? What you got? I just got the crispy. I just got the spicy chicken. I just got the spicy chicken. That's my bro. Look, if y'all don't, don't know nothing, don't know skip for it, huh? And the um, bir the, the birthday cake, but it's like a zebra cake. But that bitch, that bitch way better. Oh, that's the birthday cake joint. That bitch way better than the zebra cake. You right, you right, you right. Let me give me a little city paint too, man. City paint to that Bud Light. Like. Nah, I'm just talking shit. Look at what it is, bro. You wild. Dude. What about that? My first time in the store now. Y'all got to show up. What's up? I'm going to get you right, bro. I try to tell you, bro. I'm going to get you right. Make sure you're good. See, what I don't need to see is no pineapple family. But then I'm gonna wanna go pull up a goddamn deuce in. <laughs> we got no deuces out here, man. I wouldn't tell you to trust the deuces on top. Y'all yeah, wanna know something about me? Don't nobody know. I don't eat candy. Hard candy. Starburst, none of that. What up? Who just called me? Yeah, 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 yeah. We finna get it. Yeah, yeah, that me. Hey man, it counting too tall, man. I'm already got down. Let it fuck. <laughs> oh fucking way. Hey, it's the back end child, man. Catch me on a new episode of Bodega Talk, man. We going crazy, we going live. 
first interview in a minute, man. Yeah, I told him he a lucky man. <laughs> uh, 